guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade leaders for January week two. So our new theme for this month is work it out, stick to the plan. And our life app for the month is commitment, making a plan and putting it into practice. So last week, week one, our story was about the wise man building his house on the rock and the foolish man building his house on sand. And our bottom line was practice hearing and doing what God says. And we kind of talked about reading the Bible and knowing what it says and then doing it. This week, um, we are learning all about prayer, and our bottom line is practice praying to God. So our memory verse for this month comes from 1 Timothy 4.8. It's kind of a long one, so really make sure that you practice it with the motions with your small group. And it says, training the body has some value while you run in place, but being godly has value in every way. So you'll point up and then move your arms out to the side. It promises help for the life you are living now. Cross your hands over your heart and then point down and the life to come, and then you'll point up. And also this month, we started handing these out last week. We have these little commitment packets um, just to get kids to practice the life app for the month of showing commitment, just that they're doing something each week. So this side asks them to memorize the bottom line for each week, and then this side asks them to do a little devotional for each week, and then attached in here is the little devotional that goes along with each week. So this was last week's little devotional, and then um, this week, it has them on day one reading um, some verses from Luke and then talking about praying, so the Lord's Prayer. And then it has them read Ephesians 6, 18 and pray through some different things. And then um, a couple other things, a couple other readings on the back. So this is just a good way to show commitment during the month that during the week they're um, doing something that we talked about on Sunday. So make sure if they weren't there last week that you hand one of those out along with a parent cue and a memory verse card to your kiddos. So let's jump into our activities for week two. Um, as you arrive at 8.30 and 10.30, just to help you prepare, um, take a second and just pray for your kids that are in your small group. Thank God for the opportunity this month. We really get to guide them through how to grow in their relationship with God and just ask that kids would really understand this week that God wants to hear from them. God wants us to pray to him. Then as kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, um, as they join your circle, ask about their week. Make sure you know their names. Make sure any first-time guests really feel welcomed. And then um, there's some questions that you can ask just as little icebreakers. What are some things that you have to practice to get better at? What's your least favorite thing to practice? What do you love about practicing? What do you not love about practicing? Then at 9 and 11, you're going to start your intro activity. So on each cart, you will have a little baggie that has a bunch of folded up pieces of paper in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to have kids get into pairs, and each pair will draw a slip of paper out of the baggie. And they're going to read what it says to each other, not to the rest of the group. And then they're going to act it out for the group. So these are ways that you can communicate. So this one says sign language. So every slip of paper in there has a different way to communicate. So it's like texting, emailing, Facebook sign language, talking, on the phone, and so they're just going to act out those different ways that we can communicate. And you'll just close that activity out by saying, so guys, there are lots of ways we can communicate with each other. Thanks to phones and computers, um, we can even communicate with people way on the other side of the world or even in outer space. So today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about someone we should all be talking to, and you don't even have to have a smartphone. So then you'll go down to large group. Just make sure that you're sitting with your small group during large group, uh, modeling worship for them, helping them to worship, helping them to engage in the story. And then when you get back, you are going to play the game Four Corners. So if you've ever played the game Four Corners before, um, you kind of label your corners one, two, three, and four, and um, someone closes their eyes and counts, and the kids all pick a corner. So it's a take on that. And the rooms, both rooms are already set up for it. And in your small group first, you're going to tell the kids that um, Jesus gave us a model um, to kind of follow while we pray, which is the Lord's Prayer. And today they're going to learn an acronym to help them remember that model. And just tell them an acronym is like when you take some letters and they all stand for something. So today our acronym is FAST. So in this room, the F is way back there. In the second grade room, I think it's in a different spot. So you'll show all the kids. So you guys see where that F is? Okay, the S stands for focus on God. So um, then you're going to open your Bible and read Luke 11:2 2 and explain that the first part of the prayer 
Jesus wants us to remember who we're talking to and honor his name. So when we pray, we need to focus on God. So that's where in the Lord's Prayer it says, um, oh my gosh, why can I not think of how the Lord's Prayer starts right now? <laughs> that's so silly. Um, our Father who art in heaven. Sorry, thank you. Okay, so our Father, so we want to focus on God. So that's the F. Then the next letter is A, and in the third and fourth grade room, the A is way back there in the second grade room. It's on a different wall. You're going to say, okay, so that A stands for ask whatever you need. So our Father who's in heaven, hallowed be it thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So give us this day our daily bread. So we're going to ask for what we need. So you're going to read Luke 11, 3. And in this part of the prayer, Jesus encourages us to ask for the things that we need. Then the next part in this room, it's right up there. The S is say you're sorry. So um, you're going to call on a volunteer to re read the first part of Luke 11, 4. And you're going to say, so in this part of the prayer, Jesus shows us that it's important to ask for forgiveness when we mess up. So um, that part of the prayer gives today our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses. So asking for forgiveness. And then the last part is the T, and that is take the right path. So you'll point to the T, you'll have them read the last part of the Lord's Prayer and said, and tell them, guys, in this part of the prayer, Jesus reminds us to ask for God's help in order to stay on the right path. So lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So fast, focus on God, ask for what you need, say you're sorry, and take the right path. So then... Um, what you're going to do is you're going to have, you guys can all get together. It'll probably be easiest after um, either one small group leader can explain all of that or you guys can explain it in your small groups and then come together. And someone's going to say, all right, guys, so I'm going to pray this prayer and you guys are going to move to the corner um, that this would be part of that prayer. So God, you are an awesome God. Nothing is more powerful than you. So hopefully all the kids move to the F because that would be focusing on God. And then you'll just keep reading through those, and they'll kind of talk about what part of prayer that would be. So then when you close it down, you'll say, great job, guys. You need to focus on God, ask for what you need, say you're sorry, and take the right path. And just remembering fast can help us as we practice praying this week. So then um, just pick one of those four prompts and tell the kids a prayer that you've prayed recently that fits into that. So you might just say, so guys, earlier this week, I just yelled at my kids for no reason, and I just kind of lost it. And so I had to pray to God and say that I was sorry and just ask for forgiveness for acting like that. And that is practicing prayer. So the next activity is communicating that verse, and it's the memory verse review. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your kids look up the memory verse, 1 Timothy 4, 8, practice doing it with the motions, use your... Um, memory verse cards and then you're going to split your group into four teams and you're going to give one of the four phrases to each group so um, these phrases are just written on the cards like this so it says training the body has some value that's one phrase but being godly has value in every way and then the other two phrases sorry i can't pull that apart with my fingers and i'm trying to move quickly because this video is going long and what you're going to do is you're going to have each team work together to find a new way to say that part of the verse. So they could whisper, they could use an accent, they could say it really loud, um, however they want to do it. And then they'll come together and they'll each say their part of the verse the way they want the rest of the group to communicate it. And then the group will just kind of practice saying each part of the verse in the different way. So you'll then you'll just close that by saying, so great job, guys. This verse is long, but it's full of important truth. And we can take care of our bodies by exercising and eating healthy, but we also need to make sure that we're growing our faith too. And one way we can grow our faith is by talking to God. What's that called? Prayer. Yeah, so we need to practice praying to God. So then there are some optional small group questions. If you would like to go over those with your small group, just talking about praying. Maybe if you bring a snack for your group, that's a good time. Sit down, eat a snack, talk about some of those questions. And then you will just close out with prayer. Um, you're going to give each kid one of these little bookmarks that talks about that FAST acronym. And then in the baggie, you have some little stickers that are all different kinds of little transportation stickers. Just kind of goes along with FAST um, and communicating. So you're going to give each kid one of the bookmarks and a few stickers so that they can decorate it. And um you're just going to encourage them to take it home and put it somewhere where it helps remind them to pray so maybe in a book that they're reading at school or a book that they're reading at night before they go to bed and then you'll just close with this prayer here or whatever kind of prayer you'd want and then just encourage kids to show their parents their bookmarks and talk tell them what fast means and how they can use it to help them practice praying
And just make sure if they weren't here last week that they get a commitment packet and a parent cue and a memory verse card. So that's it for this week, guys. Sorry it was such a long video. Um, thank you guys so much for serving. I appreciate you as small group leaders so, so much. So grateful for you each and every week, and I will see you guys on Sunday.